There's another. Wow, look at these huge doors. <laughs> Hello, everybody, and welcome to another episode of Stranded Deep. My name is Botch. And today we're picking up where we left off uh, just in the last episode where we've explored this island here um, and gotten all the, the goodies that we needed. And now we're just going to go right across the way here to this next island. Um, I don't even know the names of these islands off the top of my head, uh, but I will leave a, um, a name and description in the... Uh, I was wondering why we were moving all of a sudden. <laughs> I left the uh, sail up. Uh, but I will leave a, a name and description in the comments of the islands that we visit in case you want to try them out for yourself. Um, and to give proper credit to the, the creators, I do uh, admire them for doing what they did. Um, uh, yeah, let's, get, let's get across the, uh, the pond here and go take a look at this next one. I'm not even going to pause the video because we're not going to uh, be traveling that long. It should be just over here. Just need to turn the raft. Uh, I think it's over here. Yep, okay. <laughs> just to make sure I didn't get us lost. That would be a whole other episode altogether. Uh, Alright, so yep, there it is in the distance. So, you know, the last uh, island that we visited was... Uh, was a lot more detailed on the inside than I had originally expected from the outside as we were approaching it looked very kind of plain um, and I wasn't sure really what to uh, to expect and this time uh, you know and that time yeah you know, I wasn't I wasn't disappointed it, the, I liked that island very much it had a lot of detail a lot of really neat features to it uh, this one's kind of the opposite at least so far it, you know it, it looks uh very very intriguing from the outside and uh, oops. clearly um a lot of work went into this one so i'm anxious to see what uh what we come across um and, and we should be there here in a moment this will be the the last large um island like player made island that we explore at least in this series um so my uh my sincere thanks to the creators of all of the islands even the ones that i didn't feature in this series uh thank you for doing that kind of work uh and kind of giving back to the the community because everybody enjoys you know the work that you're doing so that is very much appreciated um so all right uh we're on our way and really anybody that has ever done a single mod whether it was you know a super popular mod or a mod that you know you put a lot of time and effort into thanks for doing that you know that's that's really great you know it's it's creators um, like that that kind of bring something new and fresh um, to uh, games and in some cases really uh, improve upon the games and expand on them in ways that the the developer uh, either didn't think of or, or simply didn't uh, didn't have time for who knows um, but you know a lot of really great work goes into those and it's uh, kind of a thankless job in a lot of ways at least for the vast majority of, of uh, mod creators all right so we're almost to our destination just want to get off the uh, rudder real quick and have a, a quick look-see uh, I think I put yep. So we can see that there's a huge tower way up top, another one up there, and a lot of steep hills. So this will be interesting. Um, and it's kind of, you know, neat that I put it next to this other um, island that we were just on because this other island was you know, also, you know, had a lot of buildings to it and stuff. So you can almost imagine that... Uh, the two were related in some way in their history, even though um, they really don't have anything to do with it another. I'm not even, uh, at least from memory, I don't even recall whether or not it's the same creator. Um, but they, like I said, look at the comments and it'll tell you uh, who the creators were. The shark. Uh, okay, 
So let's see here. We've got spears. I made a few like just kind of throwaway spears. But we have plenty of weaponry. I'll probably need to make a, a, a couple more before um, we attempt the uh, you know boss fights. But right now let's just go ahead and set up a shelter and save. Uh, okay, so let's go ahead and have a look around. I think I'll go... Um, let's go this way. He's just, <laughs> he's just stuck. A little whirlpool there. Alright, so... I want to go around the exterior once, if we can, before we climb up. So maybe I should have gone the other way, but I'm going to continue on this way. Looking out for really anything purple. I don't know if, the, if there's anything else that's poisonous. I always try to avoid these little starfish as well. The uh, crabs will bite you if you're not careful. So really just try to avoid stepping on anything if you can. Although I've got shoes on, I would think, right? Like, all right. Um, I'm kind of worried about swimming like this. Uh, I'm just going to try to do it quickly and hope I don't run into anything terrible. I kind of wish you could... Um, ooh, climb. Um, I kind of wish you could uh, kill the turtles. Uh, because I feel like the turtle shells would be useful in some way. Like a bowl or something, I don't know. Let's see here. So not a lot on the outside of the island yet. I think everything's pretty much going to be up and in, in the center, but again, usually what I like to do is it spoiled? I'll take it with me. Why not? Um, anyways, usually what I like to do is explore the outside first and then go into, uh, into the interior second. Uh, and that's just been my way of doing things. You know, whether it's a small island or a large island, doesn't really matter. I feel like it's a nice thorough search. Okay, I'm stuck. There we go. So, that's going to be a challenge because we're going to have to swim around and there's a great big old shark there. So I think I'm going to pass on that. Because I don't want to waste my spears on that. So let's just go up. I guess the island's going to force us up. So there's that great big tower there. Alright, and lots of buildings to take a look at too. Wow. Cool. All right, so let's have a look around. Uh, go in here first. So here's that boat that I couldn't quite get around. And you could, I guess you could drop into it, but I see a point. That's here. Cool. So yeah, a lot of. Uh, oh, can you climb? I want to go down. Ah, uh. I did not mean to do that. Okay, so yeah, you can like. I guess just climb down and take a look around. Heck, while we're here, let's just do it. Oh, how bad was I hurt? Okay, not too bad. All right. Yeah, it does make me wonder. I'm really very curious to know, like, uh, do you get to, you know, customize these models in any way, or they're just kind of standard assets, and you just choose, and who stacks cloth like this honestly <laughs> that's here let's go in here okay I mean, a lot of cool stuff you know things I would be grabbing up early game that we just don't need anymore um, happily my, my hoarder mentality as I've mentioned it before only extends so far at some point, it's just uh, competing with uh, my aversion to wasting time. So let's see here. This goes to the next building. So I don't. I want to go upstairs first, then we can look at the next building. Oh wow! What the scrap is going on here? Uh, okay. So a whole bunch of scrap metal. And that kind of makes sense, you know, there'd be some scrap metal. Let's see, here's a machete. I'm not even going to pick those up anymore. I've got a bunch of those. We'll take the food. 
And that's just because, you know, I don't know how long we're going to be looking around, so it might be good to have a snack. And if not, they don't spoil. In fact, uh, I may end up stocking the airplane with those uh, if we have enough uh, at the end. Um, probably wouldn't be a bad idea to spend some time stocking up the, uh, the supplies because we're supposed to be uh, putting food and water on the uh, aircraft carrier ahead of departure. Um, and I don't know how much we're going to be able to carry. Let's see here. Oh, wow. More scrap in here. Wow. Guess they wanted you to have some scrap. Uh -uh. <laughs> uh, that's kind of funny. Um, so I'm guessing, just a guess here, but I'm guessing that the um, door comes with the piece and the piece was kind of stuck together. <laughs> uh, it's, uh, it's just, I don't know why it made me laugh, but that, that's funny. All right, so let's go up. And, you know, and again, I wish there was kind of something more to it. What the holy... <laughs> um, a little tiny boy. That's funny. Um, this is a lot of balls. <laughs> and more double doors. It's kind of funny to me. Uh, we will definitely take the spear ammo. Or spear gun ammo, rather. I think we can use that. find pickaxes. I mean, I honestly don't really even need them. I'm not going to be in a spear gun. I'm I'm tempted to take the spear gun. We have a spear gun on board. Um, in fact, I, I probably could have brought more spear ammo, but we can just make some, I guess, on the fly. What does it take to make them? Uh, it's probably going to be under crafting. Spear gun ammo. Where is that at? Down at the bottom? Oh yeah, it's super cheap. <laughs> He's the full tour. Uh, it's just funny. I don't know if that was on purpose or what the story is behind that, but that's funny. All right. Okay, so we got a couple buildings done. the snack or I'd eat. Um, okay, so let's see what else we can find. There's still that up there we gotta get up to. So there's look, it looks like there's a big walkway that extends across the way there. So how do we get up there? Maybe this is the way. That is a huge plant. <laughs> So maybe, I don't know, can you scale things? Um, is there a, is there something I can grab in the middle of this? That's pretty neat though. Maybe this was the whole experiment, right? Like uh, they were using their uh, scientific discoveries to grow enormous aloe plants. Uh, and then funding just dried up, you know, there's just no more funding in the aloe industry. Um, I don't understand why this is here. There's a boat that we, oh no, this is where we, we started at. Okay. So we, we, we could have come up this way. Um, so now the question is how do we get up there? So let's see if we can find out. I'm just going to run. It is kind of cool though. I, I, I'm surprised that we don't see more of that to be perfectly honest. More scaling of things. Uh, I mean obviously they did something like that to that. Uh, let's see. Maybe it's up this way. What time is it? That's, we're kind of starting to lose the sun here. This is a big island. It doesn't like seem like it but We've been walking a long, long time. I like the the uh, thick 
uh, tropical kind of forest thing going on over there. Let's see here. Um, this is not the way. And like I said, we are kind of running out of daylight. I may end up having to go back to the boat and uh, camp for the night and try again in the morning. Uh, just I don't want to be walking around uh, too much at night. We haven't seen any like crabs or pigs or snakes or anything yet. Which again, I'm kind of surprised that there that could be a limitation if they uh, used too many resources or something. Um, just again, just guessing. I've never done a, an island, so I really don't know what the uh, uh, what to expect with that, but I plan to do one in the future. So I think we've come around because this, yeah, this is where the uh, raft is. So I don't quite understand how to get up there. So maybe it's this way. Oh, potato plant. Nice. I'm picking all these potatoes. In fact, I'm going to do it right now while I'm thinking of it. Uh, of course, I can't I don't see this. Because I don't even care if they spoil anymore. Those are coming with me. Oh, yeah. Here we go. Shark repellent. Very cool. Here, you know what we're going to do with that? Pick that up later. <laughs> um, but how the hell do you get up there? All right. Well, we better get down before it gets dark, because otherwise we're spending the night up here, and I don't want to do that. But at least we found a shark repellent for the for the effort. See, that's a cool little thing to do too. Is uh, people like exploring in games, and sometimes even if you, you know, kind of go up uh, the wrong way, there should be some kind of reward for at least trying. So I like that. Okay. All right, let's get saved up here. It's five o'clock. It's still going to be dark for like another hour. Um, so hopefully you can see okay. Um, but I want to try to get up there if we can. It's got to be way up there. Something I haven't seen yet. a light is that just the sun on the other side maybe no okay so this is one of the buildings that we came up with and see this is what makes me think this was like an aloe research facility um, ground breaking work in the field of aloe apparently maybe it's this way you know I'm just gonna you know what I'm gonna do there's an extra, why not? Are we meant to climb this tree? Oh, please don't fall down. Oh, oh. Man, I broke something. Let's see how bad it is. Okay, so now we gotta make a splint because I suck at jumping. Um, I think I saw a lashing in here. Yep, they saw me coming. They're like, he's gonna need this. Uh, let's see here. Splint. Okay, good. Go ahead and drop that. So there's got to be a way up there. And I bet this tree is the key to it. Because I really don't see any other way. In fact, let's just take a quick peek. Okay, so yeah, I'm going to have to jump a whole hell of a lot faster than that to uh, make that run. Alright, here goes nothing. Oh, 
way. Yeah, no, that did not do it. And I think even if I did manage to get up there, I mean, I flew for a while, but I, maybe that's not the way. How are we doing? Okay. Not too bad. You know, the whole point of this island is discovering the secret. Oh, I'm definitely going to die. Oh, there's... I, I have to believe there's an easier way to get up there, but... I think I mentioned in the previous episode, if there's a hard way, I will find it. I mean, you know, this can't be the way the scientists got to work every day, right? I see a little bridge there. I'm just going to come up this way. See what we can see from a higher elevation. That's one hell of a diving board, guys. I mean, good night. Uh, let's see here. So there's a little bridge down this way. But I don't want to fall down that way. Let's see what we can find this. Come around this way. I mean, maybe... Okay. Oh. Alright. Um, I don't know what I've got myself into here. <laughs> I've definitely gone a, uh, a different route than I think they intended. Um, let's see here. Let's go this way. This is a very interesting and very elaborate. Oh boy. I've already proven I'm not any good at these jumps. Here we go. Yes. Oh, man. Uh, I did not think I was going to make that, but it seemed shorter than the the other one. There's the giant aloe plant. What was the point of this? Why did I come here? Why did it make me jump across? This is so confusing. Like, I'm all for a little mystery, but come on. What are we doing? Is that a giant snake? I wish I had my... Uh, Binoculars, but that appears to be a giant floating snake. Um, I, I'm I'm concerned. <laughs> uh, oh, it disappeared. Nope, there it is. Okay, what is going on? That is crazy. Okay, well, um, apparently aloe was not the only research they were doing on this island. The uh, giant snake industry also had their uh, their demands that need to be met. All right, um, let's go back this way. Now, how am I going to get across? There's not enough room to jump this time. Oh boy, here goes nothing. Nice. All right, yeah, it's just a shorter distance. So I guess, do I go down? Is there a jump up? Oh, oh. Ah! <laughs> I go down. Uh, let's see here. I feel like I'm going backwards, not forward. But, uh, uh, okay. Here's a door. This is going to lead, oh. That is very narrow. Um, this is going to lead us to how we get in, I think. But, ficus tree. Um, we did not bring our axe, so we're going to have to come back and get an axe. Why would there be clay deposits? Unless we can, I don't think we can. No, we need a pickaxe for that. Um, and there's a great big pit of water. Um. Which I think is the way, right? So let's just go this way. Isn't this where we came? Yeah, yeah. Because there's a there's a ramp. So 
Let's go this way. Hopefully there's no like sharks or anything. And we saved, so worst case scenario. <gasps> If I can use the raft to get up. Come on. It's stuck. It's like lodged. Anything in here? Nice. Um. <coughs> out of the way. There we go. Okay. So we still haven't really found our way out, but we need pickaxe in order to get through that clay. Here's another, wow, look at these huge doors. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Sharks with frickin' laser beams attached to their heads. I'm sorry. <laughs> I don't mean to laugh. It's just all of a sudden I'm getting like um, these uh, uh, Austin Power <laughs> references in my head. Oh my gosh. Or James Bond maybe. Oh, that's too funny. What the hell? <laughs> That is a giant crab. Um, I don't think we need to go in there. We can close this door all together. Oh, that's too funny. All right. Um, I still think we're going backwards. Is that a giant raft? What in the world, man? So we should have even been in here because we should have needed the pickaxe to get in here to begin with, but I kind of went a different way. And at this point, I am trapped, I think, right? Because, yeah, that is a huge raft. I kind of want that. <laughs> um, I want to see if I can float it out of here. But yeah, no, I don't know what I'm going to do because I don't think I was meant to get in here without a pickaxe um, I think that uh, clay deposit ahead is the way I was supposed to get in to begin with and without that I can't get out at least not on my own can I make a pickaxe probably not um, I mean there's well no because I would need stone right I don't I'm not really ready to give up just yet there could be some rocks down here so let's just take a quick look. If we can find two rocks, we're in business. That's all we really need, I think. Or maybe three? Three rocks. So I'm not ready to give up just yet. I love when the fish go flying when there's uh, storms. It's kind of funny. Is that a, why is that a door? Oh. Interesting. Okay. Hey. We, uh, we found a way after all. Oh. Corrugated scrap. You know, I bet this is. Uh, yeah. Sure enough, this is uh, here. We're gonna have to. That is that's actually clever. Okay, I uh, I'm going to give them props because what they did here was they made a uh, little secret entrance and covered it. And I honestly just passed right up, didn't give it a second thought. So that is a, a very clever way to do things. I really like that. 
So yeah, this is our, our little two uh, aloe uh, thing, which means our giant aloe tree is through here, yeah, sure enough. All right, which means down here on the uh, beach is going to be where uh, our uh, raft is. Um, all right, I'm going to pause. I'm going to wait for daylight and storm to clear everything. We're going to go back in there and try again. All right, we are fed. We are, uh, we have tools, we have weapons. Uh, I put away some things because we don't know what we're going to come across in there, but seeing as how there are giant crabs and a tank full of sharks, I think we should bring at least some weapons, but uh, not uh, be over encumbered either. The giant tank of sharks is still cracking me up. Like I'm, I'm sitting there waiting for the sun to come up and I'm just still kind of chuckling to myself. That every, every Batman episode with the, you know, the old Batman series, right? Or, um, uh, you know, James Bond or any other, you know, like clearly a, a, a villain of some sort had this island. <laughs> It just cracks me up. All right. Um, so how do I... I want to get down, but I don't want to break my leg. Is there a better way? I don't, it's not like it's catching uh. or anything. No, nope, just got to fall. Okay. I'm going to have to put a, a warning in the beginning of this episode. Uh, for spoilers, just because I'd hate to ruin this for somebody else. It, it's fun. It's interesting. I certainly wouldn't pick this as a starting island for so many reasons. All right. All right, finally through there. Let's see if we can find them here. What the hell? So. There's nothing in here. There's like a invisible barrier though. Or something. It's like a barrel, you see. They're trying to keep me out of there. What in the hell is the point of any of this? It looks as if you know I'm kinda of curious. I'm either gonna fall in the water or I'm not. Yeah, okay. <laughs> I was doing a little leap of faith moment thinking maybe it's an invisible walkway, but no, it's not. Um, I still, we still haven't figured out how to get up to the top of this uh, weird little structure. Let's go this way. This is going to be like the longest episode yet. Like, I, I, I don't know how I uh, shorten this. Oh, here we go. Let's see what we got here. Uh, I just put that away. I'm going to need it. Ficus trees. I swear if this is a dead end. <laughs> this is like... The island equivalent of a fun house. Uh, come on. Okay, I can just get by it. Did I just come around? <laughs> you son of a bitch. <laughs> This is, that's exactly what I think the creator was going for here, was this weird little fun house. Oh boy. Guys, I really don't know what to, to tell you. I don't, there's got to be a way up there. But I am not figuring it out. Alright, so I came back down to get rested and uh, start a new day just because it was, uh, 
It's a little frustrating being trapped in there. Um, the video's gone a little longer than I usually like to do them. So I think what I'm going to do is make this a two-parter. Um, so uh, in the next video, we will figure out <laughs> how to get up there because I'm just not willing to give up, uh, you know, in this case. And I'm certainly not willing to cheat. The, you know, at this point, it's a matter of pride. So um, if you like the video and you like seeing me get a little frustrated and worked up, great. That's fine with me. Uh, click the like button below. Uh, if you want to uh, see more like this or you want to stick around for the next episode uh, where we finally defeat this one, uh, be sure to click the subscribe button and the bell icon will let you know when that video comes out. Um, and that's I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, to you know end it there for this episode. The next episode, we're going to get up there one way or another. All right, we'll see you in the next one.